Hello folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. I had some questions about this hat here and I thought I'd take a little bit of time and share it with you. And what you're looking at here is a Tilly Airflow hat. This is model LTM6. Uh, so this is the larger one that has the larger brim. So I'll talk, I'll talk about the specs. I'll talk about some of the features. I'll compare it to another hat that I have that's very similar. And then we will close out. Also do a little bit of a write-up in the description section for those folks that may be interested. So, you're looking at a Tilly Airflow hat here. And this is the model LTM6. And this is the hat that I took to Africa. I took this one to Canada, Texas, Maine, um, Arizona, a couple other states as well. Um, it's a very reliable hat and it has uh, several different applications to it so let's talk a little bit about the features first as far as the front of the brim here this area that you're looking at this is about three and a half inches or 8.8 .8 centimeters of coverage is what you can expect here in the front and it's pretty much the same in the back right here in this area this is uh, 3.5 or 8.8 .8 centimeters now the sides this section here on the sides, it's two and a half inches or 6.3 centimeters. Give you a shot of the other side there. And this hat weighs about three ounces or 85 grams. The color that you're looking at here is olive. It's a very nice color. Um, it doesn't get as dirty as the khaki one and that's why I chose this one. This is a 100% suplex nylon mesh. Um, and polyester so that's the material of the hat as you can see there is a little bit of a mesh on top here that allows the air to flow through the hat there and allow your head to stay semi cool it's not going to keep you uh, completely cool but at least semi cool and I'll share that right there with you so you can get a shot of it it's a very attractive hat it wears well it's designed to be worn loose and not tight and there's a shot of the front of the hat and this mesh here is about three quarters of an inch um, as far as sun protection you can expect um, 50 plus uh, UPF sun protection rating on this hat so no issues there and I'll talk a little bit about the inside of the hat as you can see there's a little bit of a sweat band there for added comfort and this hat will stain you can see a little bit of staining there from the sweat and I'll have to wash this one again it's due for a cleaning and you can see the little grommets here have some corrosion on them and they're going to have to be um, cleaned up as well and basically the way you would care for this hat is you could throw it into the washing machine in a gentle cycle with some wool light, cold water, and then just set it out on a picnic table out back or something, let it air dry for the day. Or you could just hand wash it in the sink with some delicate detergent and a little brush and just scrub some of these areas out and get some of this sand and dirt out of there and let it air dry. Inside, if you look inside there, there is a small pocket in here and you could put some cash in there credit card and an ID or something like that in there if you wanted to um, I don't know animal tags perhaps uh, a fishing license or something like that and underneath there is a small pad if you could see that right there and that just allows the hat to float if it ever ends up in the water um, this hat will float which is a good thing you could spin the boat around and go back and retrieve it uh, two points of retention you have the chin strap right here that obviously goes under the chin and you can adjust it accordingly and then this one back here that can be worn on the back of the head on that knot you just put it on there and cinch it up and just pull it forward and it'll self tighten uh, pretty much like the uh, Mounties wear it when they wear their uh, their duty hats. So they'll put it on there and then they cinch it and that keeps it on. 
and if you use this one and this one it's really not coming off and if it does come off this will retain it it might blow off your head but it's going to stay on your neck and your chin and you just pull it back on now this hat did come off me uh, a couple of times in Africa but it was ripped off my head with branches uh, it wasn't blown off so very nice quality uh, very nice construction uh, once again this is the uh, larger one the LTM6 um, and it is a very very nice hat give you a shot of it there and one more shot in this direction right here now as far as packing it away if you're going on a trip generally what I do is I'll pack my luggage this is the last thing I throw in there I'll, I'll put it on top of the luggage and then I'll just give it a nice hit and then I'll put the lid on and it'll smash it down and then when I get to my destination I just put my fist in there pop it up shape it and it's ready to roll so very nice hat I'll set it down right here and then we'll talk about this one and it's not the same hat it looks like the same hat but it is not this is the Tilly Airflow model LTM5 so this is a smaller version I prefer this one for perhaps bushcraft walking in the woods uh, where I don't need as much coverage the other one um, the larger one this one is really ideal for fishing and hunting if you're out in the desert and you need um, additional protection so I'll put them side by side so you can get a look at the scale there and as you can see there is a significant difference um, between the two this one obviously is going to give you more coverage this one is a little lighter and more minimalist now as far as the specs on this one this one is two it's this one's advertised as two and five eighths on the front here and I think it's a little bit less but about 6.6 .6 centimeters on the back it's advertised it's two and three quarter inches or 6.9 centimeters on the brim size back here and then the sides a little bit less two and an eighth inch or 5.3 centimeters on the sides now it's advertised as also three ounces 85 ounce ounces or excuse me 85 grams and I think it's a little bit less I think it's closer to 80 grams so this one this one a little bit lighter has all the same features mesh on top to keep you cool same material if you wanted to spray it down with a little bit of camp dry you would increase the water repellency to it and inside it's it's basically the same you have the strap for the back of the head to secure it on there and keep it in place you just put that on the knot give it a little pull forward and it's it's perfect and then it has the chin strap I have it tucked away one of the things I like to do is I like to take the uh, chin strap if I'm not using it and I'll tuck it inside that pocket in that fashion as you can see right there and it's out of the way really nice so another high quality hat this one I would say I would wear for everyday wear perhaps if I go to a flea market or a car show or if I'm just doing some trail walking or bushcraft and I'll wear this one where as this one here I prefer to wear this one for hunting uh, fishing if I'm out on a boat uh, go out in the desert and I need additional coverage but let me just back up a little bit so you can get a nice side-by-side -side look at both of them right there and you can decide which one is right for you so once again here on this side the one I'm moving this is the airflow the Tilly airflow hat model LTM5 the smaller version and this one over here is the Tilly airflow hat model LTM6 two beautiful hats very high quality uh, warranted for life um, they do repel the rain they're not waterproof they'll repel the rain um, and I'll just show you the one that I'm wearing right now and this is just a same version as the LTM6 but it's in khaki 
So if anyone had any questions about the different colors, um, here's one in khaki and here's one in olive. Um, I think this color here is a little bit better for warmer climates where you can get more reflection. Perhaps if you're going to be around the water, um, exposed to direct sunlight, uh, this one seems to stay a little cooler because it's a lighter hat. The con is the obvious. Um, if you have dirty, grimy hands, every time you touch this hat, it's going to get dirty. So, I'll share this one just briefly, give you a shot of it there. And this is a newer one that I picked up um, last year. And it's a very nice uh, summer hat. It wears well. I have it set up with the strap perfectly measured to go around the knot in the back of my head and then I tighten it and then the chin strap is secured inside the pouch there as you can see so it's out of the way however if it gets really windy I'll just take it out and put it around my chin so a couple beautiful hats I wanted to take a little bit of time to share them with you all for those that are interested in these types of headwear I would describe these hats as perhaps uh, three season, um, definitely not winter hats by any stretch, but they can be worn in the spring, in the summer, and in the fall. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and see you all next time.